Morning guys, so on my quest to learn all of these opening responses, um, I found this site bgquiz.com and if you click on uh, opening replies, there's a quiz of 425 positions. The first day I took the quiz, I got 51 wrong, which was a bit disappointing. And then I thought I'll try it every single day and, and hopefully after a week or so, the quiz only takes me about an hour and a quarter. Uh, if I've got time, I'll do the quiz seven times and hopefully I'll be down to just a couple of errors. Um, so the first day I got 51 wrong with a 0 0.005 uh, parameter I said as an error. The second day I did the quiz and I only got 30 wrong. So I'm thinking, oh, this is easy. I'll just do the quiz every day and progress is going to be a straight line. Uh, eventually, once I've seen them five, six, seven times, it will just uh, solidify in my memory. Um, but the third day I did the quiz, I got... Uh, 37 wrong, so more than the second day, uh, which is a bit surprising, uh, I guess disappointing. But the good news is I didn't make any errors after opponent made a point um, with either 3-1, 4-2, 5-3, 6-4, or when opponent ran with uh, 6-5 or 6-4. And the reason was because I shot that vlog where I went through all of the responses to those uh, point-making numbers or opening runners and sort of solidified the pattern recognition with some logic. Um, I'm not sure why my mouse is going crazy here. It's kind of strange. Um, anyway, so today uh, we're going to do, I'm going to go through all of and teach myself all the numbers um, where opponent slots. So that's either 2-1, 4-1, or 5-1. So there's three numbers where he can slot. But also when he does something constructive on his side of the board, uh, other than point making, bringing two down. So that's 4-3, 3-2, 5-2, uh, and 5-4. So there's about six or seven different roles only we're going to go through. Uh, and then the final video of, of the series, uh, so I'll have covered all of them. Is when he splits. So uh, either the major split with six, two, six, three, six, four, or the minor splits where he splits with the one, uh, the two, and the three, and plays uh, something else with down from the mid. So today we're going to do the slots. So two one, it's right actually for opponent to slot. These these are all for money. You can adjust them um, for match play as you as you like. I'm not a match play expert. But I think if you go for money, you're not going to go too far wrong. Just use some backgammon logic to adjust or learn the big differences if you want to. But if you know them for money, it's a pretty good starting point. So 2-1 is actually the right money play and pretty much every score except gammon save for opponent to slot. 4-1, it's a small error. 5-1, it's just slightly wrong. Um, let's just see how much it's wrong by according to the computer if he rolls uh, a 5-1. Yeah, so uh, 0 0.014 on this kind of, uh, I don't know if it's a book response or a plus plus, but don't really want to slot, but a lot of people do it. Maybe stronger players think it's going to lead to more interesting and more difficult games, so they go for that. But anyway, we'll, we'll go through them uh, one by one, even if it's not the right opener. It's not that bad. Okay, so after opponent rolls a 2-1, <coughs> we're going to go through them as usual, my method all the big doubles and through the sixes, fives, fours, remaining threes, twos and ones. Doesn't take long. So double six, uh, no brainer. Obviously we're going to make the powerhouse uh, 18 and seven. Double five, we make the three point, there's nothing else. Now double four, um, first interesting one. You know, obviously you're going to make the 20 point and put him on the bar. Where are the last two? Do you make the four point or do you make the nine point? Um, so let's just have a look at that. Uh, after the slot so it's right just to make the nine point um, like that if you make the uh, four point it leaves in two six five three uh, to hit you back and it's just a bit unbalanced uh, stripping the eight and leaving the stack on the six and I think the idea is this is such a powerful position you're winning the game so much when he's on the bar and you're leaving no shots and you locked up his 20 point it's good enough um, so how about double three? Is it the same kind of principle? 
Um, now, basically I found with double threes, when he has a blot somewhere, it's nearly always right to make the advanced anchor with the 21, but then make the five point. And I think, let's just have a look at the equities. And we roll double three after the slot. I mean, it's right by quite a bit. And I think the reasoning is, he's about to prime you when he rolls 2-1, if you don't hit him straight away. So you don't want to be stuck back on the 24. No need to make the whole board with the 5 and 3 point. So you make your advanced anchor. But then even though this is a bit unbalanced, stripping the 8 and leaving the, the um, 6 point stacked, it's just a powerful board when he's got 2 blots. And he may not even cover. So you made the, the anchor and your 5 point. Um, whereas the double four, it was it was good enough just to to do this. But the double three, there's a slight difference where we just go for the five point. And the double two, uh, obviously we hit and make the four. Um, it's pretty powerful. Puts him on the bar. Shoots at the blot six away. Puts him under real pressure. Even if he rolls with something and hit, you've got a stronger board. You can come in and return hit. Um, now double one uh, after two one it's right just to uh, make the seven and six but interestingly we're going to go through them afterwards but that was double one but four one is quite a similar kind of theme when he's when he slots with a four one uh, but now with a double one it's right just to hit on the 20 I think they're pretty close but let's just have a look yeah, 2420, just by 0 0.006. But it just shows you, and this is a theme for the whole of the openings, when he brings a builder down to the 9 point, it's just so much more powerful than the 11. Um, for doing constructive things on his side of the board, all his numbers play well after that. He's got 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 6s make the bar, 5s make the 3, everything. So now we're incentivized to hit rather than make our solid uh, 5 and 6. Um, anyway, back to the 2-1 slot so where were we up to we've done all the doubles now six five obviously run all the way six four obviously double hit now six three um i think it's right just to play to the 15 and the reason let's just have a look to check yeah and the reason is i think that the ones and threes are so perfectly duplicated i mean he's ones and threes to make the five and ones to threes to hit and if he makes the five you've escaped a man instead of being primed back with two and I guess the other option is 18 and 10, but it just leaves him too many uh, pick and passes to hit and cover. Whereas the 6-2, um, I think it's right to play 18 and 11. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah. So there's a slight difference for you, 6-3, because the duplication is so big, you run all the way, but 6-2 doesn't really duplicate anything here. It gives them twos and fours and ones and threes. So it's right just to come down. 6-1, um, obviously, we make our bar. 5-4, it's nearly always right in the openings to hit. And rather than come out or anything else, just play down to the uh, eight. It's nearly always right. 5-3 um, makes the point, the three point. Even though we like to get split when he's about to prime us, Points just solid asset straight away. Um, so where were we up to? Five three. Now five two um, is a bit more interesting. You know, often in the openings we want to when he does something constructive, we want to bring stuff down, sort of counter prime. But with five two and five one, um, let's just check. Yeah, it's right to. Uh, to split with a 5-1 and 5-2, like that. And I think the reason is you're getting primed so badly when he slots the 11. Uh, if you bring two down, you've got no guarantee to make anything next time and you're most likely gonna be primed. So just straight away go for that split to try and anchor. And it also puts a little bit of pressure on him. If he doesn't cover, you've got your builders more spread. Maybe even fly shots if he covers with something else, increase your fly shots. So five one four two we uh, five one five two we do that. Okay, onto the fours. So four three um, um, we hit and down. 
um, but they're very close between double up uh, and the hitting down. I don't even mind the double up, and the reason is if he rolls 4 1, the 4 3 and slots, the 4 3 is right to come up uh, with both by quite a bit. So I like after 2 1 and 4 3 because the 2 1 is so close just to come up with both, hitting and coming up, uh, and it's easier to remember as well. Um, so 4 2, obviously, uh, we hit and send him back rather than make the. Uh, Four point and come down with a two, uh, four one. As we're hitting, there's no other good one. We're not slotting anywhere to get sent back all the way, so we just come up. Uh, that's all the fours. Now three two. I think this is a, if I remember right, a slightly subtle play to split to the twenty two. Uh, no, sorry, talking nonsense. Uh, three two. You just make the major suit, major split. Major suit, I'm thinking of bridge. I, play, I enjoy bridge as well, not that I'm very good. Major suits, hot spades and hearts. Anyway, 3-2, uh, you just come up to the 21 and um, down to the 11, we're getting primed. Um, originally, I thought it might be this mini split because it sort of dupes the threes, but this is just right. It's powerful and it only gives him 6-4 on the outside, actually, which is gonna make his five point anyway, so it's kind of risk free to do it, duplication. Um, three one, we know uh, we hit uh, to send him all the way back. Um, two one, um, I think we just split and come down rather than slot. They're virtually picking though uh, between 11 and five and splitting, but the idea is basically for all of these slots, we're getting uh, prime next roll, we wanna get split if we can. Um, there aren't really many exceptions. Are there any exceptions where you slot? No. Uh, so basically, he slots. We're getting about to get primed. We split. So that was the two one. The four one's a similar kind of theme when he when he decides to play the big thirteen nine six five. Uh, it's not really right for money. Let me just have a look how bad it is uh, slotting both. I know some strong players do it. Uh, against sort of weaker players, try and get in more complicated games. It gives away 0 0.007. I guess some match scores, I don't know, say it's a nine point match and Black's trailing, I don't know, badly. It's probably right to, no, even then it's wrong. Um, so even when Black's down, it's not right to make the aggressive play. In fact, even more so, it's right to, um, um, just split. Interesting, I'm not sure why when he's down in the match it would be a bigger error to, to slot than it is uh, for money. I have to think about that. I would have thought you want to play a more aggressive game. I mean it wins, um, slotting wins 13.6% gammons. Oh maybe that, wow, interesting. So. Slotting doesn't even, 13.9, double slotting with a 4 and doesn't even win more gamuts, 13.6%. Um, but for money, uh, yeah, splitting. So it's just a bad play to double slot. Loses too much ground, too many blots. Uh, whereas the 2-1, it's, it's slightly right. Anyway, so are there any differences when he slots with a 4-1? Compared to a 2 1, let's just go through them quickly. Double six, double five, double four. Well, double six, double five are obvious. Double four. Um, um, now we can hit and uh, we, we can double hit and make the four point. Um, whereas when he rolled 2 1, um, we hit and make the nine point. So there's a slight difference there because of the double hit. Just makes it so much harder for him to come in when we've got. The extra point in board and it's not like he's if we double hit and make the four uh like this you know he's got two on the bar and he doesn't have any return shots at this man on the eight so it's, it's obviously right uh to do so so where were we double th three i think it's the same as uh the two one we're gonna make the um 21 and five just check that. 
makes a point and puts pressure on his blots. Uh, very close, but just, you know, it's easier to remember as well. It's close between, um, you know, tw it makes this kind of, uh, this play is just ever so slightly ahead, but it's too close 0 0.001 to count. So I just do the same thing to remember, making the uh, 21 and 5 on the principle that it makes an anchor and your best point, and he's got blots, which puts a, a bit of a threat. Like here, he's not going to be happy hitting a 6, 1, 2, 5, 3, 4. So that's why you can leave that blot there, because he's going to have blots everywhere. Um, so carrying on after the 4 1 split. If we roll uh, double 2, so we can. Um, you know, you could double hit, but it's right just to, to hit and make the four point. It's solid. I guess if you double hit, he can just come in with two and you haven't really got very much. Whereas if you hit and make the four point, you've got, just got such a solid advantage. You sent him back. He's got three men back. You've got the stronger board. He's got blots that you're shooting at. I mean, this becomes um, your, your block on the 20 point becomes an asset, not a liability when he's on the bar. Because if he doesn't hit back, you're shooting at that blot on the nine. If he fans, it's amazing. Probably double pass already. Um, let's just have a look. I should just out of interest. It's a bit of a detour. Um, so what am I talking about? Is it still so far to go. It's an easy, easy take, but you're already at a cube. Um, right, so where were we? Double two. We now know to make the, the four point rather than double hit. Now, double one is a slight difference. Uh, I showed you before. After the two one, it's right to make the, the seven and six, but after the double double one, it was marginally, marginally better to hit. Going through the combos, six five, obviously we run all the way. Six four, we hit and run. Uh, six three is our first decision. And I think it's right just to run all the way because it duplicates three so nicely. I mean, you can, think about slotting the, the four point duplicating threes but it's just too bad when he hits and covers um, eight all the way with uh, so the 15 is is just right here duplicating the threes escapes one man when you're about to be primed six two obviously hits six one makes the seven points so we're on to the fives five four hitting down is always right five three hits this time um, five two I think we learned to split after the two ones, so I don't see why it's going to be any different here. Uh, you're about to get primed, you don't, don't come down or slot. 5-1, um, I think it's going to be close, uh, but now with the 5-1, uh, I think it's better just to slot marginally the five point because the fours are so beautifully duplicated. Uh, when you're about to get primed, with, you have a really good chance at counter priming now. Um, so that's. Uh, I think after the 2-1, um, it was right to split. But after the 4-1, it's right to prime. So we can see 4-1 uh, so much more powerful than 2-1 when we, when we miss. So we've got to do something a bit more constructive. Uh, a little bit like the double one was right to hit rather than make both points. We need to do an action play. 4-3, um, it's going to be right to make the, the big split. Uh, the same, sorry, what am I talking about? You can hit with this one. Uh, so obviously, um, we've gone through this before. You know, after 2-1, um, it was very close between the two players, but I said 2-1 and 4-1. We can come up with both hits and zoom back. Doesn't leave any fly shots in the outfield and pressures that block with the double shot we have at him. And if he comes in and hits us, we can either anchor or hit him back. That's why it's so powerful to come up with both after the 4-1. Four, four 4-2, uh, we hit him down. 4-1, we hit, there's nothing else. We don't want to slot, come up. 3-2, uh, um, we're going to make that um, big split to the 21 and 11, the same as after 2-1. 3-1, we hit. 2-1, um, let's just have a look. 2-1, it's slightly better to slot. So let me just re remind myself after the 2-1. So... In fact, to remember it, it's easier because two ones pick them after the two one split and it's right after four one. It's better just to always 
for me, always slot with 11 and 5 uh, when he slots that 5 with a 2 1 or, or um, a 4 1. And it's easier to remember. Okay, so we've gone through all the all the slots with 2 1, 4 1. The only, you know, some players play this 5 1. I don't like it, the opening move. I remember playing Dirk Schumann back when I started playing tournament back then, and, and, and he liked this. I don't know if he still does it, but uh, he certainly used to. Um, so top players play, even though the evaluation says it's slightly wrong. But let's just go through and see if there's any differences between the 2 1 4 1 slot and this 5 1. Um, so double six, uh, obviously, we're going to make the, the 18 11, nothing else. Double five, the three point, nothing else. Double four, our first decision. Um, so after the, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it sort of just helps my memorization as well. So after the two one, it was right to play, um, the nine point by far. So is it going to be any difference with a double four? Um, no, even bigger. So we just make the, uh, the 20 and the nine, the same as after um, a 2 1, and I think it's going to be the same um, with a double 3 uh, to make the um, 5 and 21. Yeah, double 2, uh, we hit and make the 4, it's going to be the same. A double 1, uh, after 2 1, it was right to make the board, 4 1, it was right to hit, but after 5 1, it's right to make the points by quite a bit, I think. And I think the reason is opponent may not cover. Uh, and then he's very stiff. If he doesn't cover, he's in real trouble now. He's only got ones and threes. Whereas, you know, when he slots with a four one, he's got ones, threes, and fours. Um, so here, this is clearly correct. Big difference. Onto the combo, six, five, we run all the way. 6-4 we hit and run, nothing else. 6-3 um, is an interesting one, I think. If we run all the way, it does duplicate um, the threes, but I think, no, yeah, that's right. So it's the same as after um, a 2-1, it was right to run all the way, right? When he rolls, because it duplicates the threes and ones. Yeah, so after a 5-1, it's the same. 4-1, uh, so what were, we, what were we up to? 6 3, we, we just did, so 6 2. Um, now I think it's right to run all the way uh, with a 6 2, similar to a 6 3. Um, if he's making that point, it's, it's hardly likely he's going to hit and cover unless he rolls uh, 4 1, double 4 4 3, and he's about to prime us with escape to man. It doesn't really duplicate anything, but it's just right. 6 1. Uh, whereas sort of coming out and down, too many picks and, and covers, he's got ones, threes and sixes, it's just too much. So six two, we run all the way, six one obviously makes the uh, the bar, five four is the usual hit and down, five three usual make the point. Now five two, um, I think it's going to be right to split. It's very, very, very close. It's marginally right to... Uh, slot because it duplicates the three so perfectly but it's so not a big deal and after um, going back after the two one um, it was right to split and after the four one it was right to split so just up for memory after the five one it's just easier to split and make this clever um, so what's happened here uh, should be like this after the five one it's easier for memory just to uh, to split as well rather than make the, the fancy slot play because it's only 0 0.004 wasn't it the difference um, sorry it's wrong because I, I put an extra spare on the eight so yeah even though it's right to slot I would just re highly recommend <coughs> splitting because it's easier to remember um, 5-1 uh, it's the usual split there's nothing duplicated by slotting uh, sorry, <laughs> five one, five one followed by five one is an anomaly. It doesn't uh, 
um, duplicate anything really, but uh, or maybe, it, but I guess five one is just a bit weak, uh, ever so slightly right to, I mean, what was it, double double o five, but still better to slot. Let's just remember that as an oddity. Y one slot followed by five one is the slot back. Um, onto the fours, four three, obviously hitting down. Uh, four two we make we hitting down. Four one hit, hitting up. Twenty to the twenty three, nothing else. So the fours are easy. Um, three two. It was right before to play to the twenty one. An 11 isn't going to be any different with this one. It's picking between 10 and 4, uh, duplicating the 3s, but I'd recommend playing to the 21 and 11 because then you know there's nothing to remember because it's the same like after the um, you know after the 4 1 and uh, 2 1 it was right, so it's just easy to remember after the 5 1. Uh, 3 1 obviously we hit. And uh, two one, um, I think it's right just to sp to, to split and come down. Uh, sorry, I got this one badly wrong. Obviously, when we roll a five, we just learnt from a five one followed by a five one. It's right to to copy him and, and slot borderline. So for a two one, it's obviously going to be much better than I say. Obvious, it's not obvious because I just got it wrong. But this is going to be better because. This is a nicer position than this, and this was slightly right, so this has got to be right by that logic. Uh, although it doesn't duplicate anything, he's got ones, threes, and eights to cover. Um, this gives him a four as well, but it's just the upside's huge, especially when, when he doesn't roll well. And I guess if he hits, you've got some returns, and this he rolls four, one, four, three. Okay, so we're now we've gone through all the uh, the slots when the opponent slots. Now we're going to look at the other constructive things you can do when you can't make a point. And 4 3 is the correct opening roll to come down with 2. Um, and the responses to this, uh, I think, are fairly easy. Uh, double 6, obviously, we're going to run all the way. Double 5 makes a 3, it's always the same. Um, now, double 4 is the first choice. Um, and this is an interesting one. It's one of the rare times where it's wrong to hit and it's just right to make the 20 and 9 by quite a lot and I guess it just gives you such a powerful position on both sides of the board, balance game and it really puts those two plots under pressure. So often right making a point in his face uh, when you made a constructive point as well. We're going to see that with some double twos later. So that's the double four, clearly correct to do that. Um, now the double three, let's just have a look to make sure I get it right. Um, double three, same principle. Uh, you make the anchor um, and the five point. We saw that with lots of the other slots. Makes the best point on the board, puts him under pressure with these two blots and he's in big trouble if he hits that fly. Not big trouble, but he's got blots everywhere and returns. Um, now the double two. Uh, let's just have a look. Whoops. So double two. Um, it's nearly always right to make the uh, 11 and 4. Let's see if this is any exception. Um, it is. <coughs> I guess it's the same principle with the double 3. We made the 21 and the 5, making the point and being in his face. I guess this is the same thing. Uh, the 11 point can wait, but here you make an anchor when he's about to prime you, put that block there under pressure to move, and you make the point. Um, Double one is going to be making uh, the seven and five, obviously. Super powerful. Um, you're kind of winning the, the priming game when he's about to prime you. So, onto the combo shots. Uh, six five, we run all the way. Six four, now we run all the way as opposed to making the two point or out and split. Um, and it's very close actually between out and split, but I guess run all the way, duplicate some of his twos, which are good on that side of the board. And if he's making a point in priming, you've escaped a whole man. 6-3, six, 6-2, six, obviously we hit. 6-1 makes a 7. 5-4 five, hits, 5-3 five, hits. You always hit, hit instead of making the point if you can with those combos. 
Um, now 5.2 is going to be a bit different. Um, let's just have a look at the 5.2. Actually, it's no different at all when he slots with the 2, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, it was right to split. Same thing here, we're about getting primed. I guess this doesn't counterbalance enough in the counter priming game, so you just split with that 5, 2. Um, but at 5, 1, we're going to slot the 5 here because it duplicates the 4 so perfectly and the upside so big. And we can see that the duplication of the 4s. He's about to make a prime, we've got to do something to, to make our 5 point back. Um, so that's all the fives. Uh, for three, um, I think we just copy him, him and bring uh, two down. Uh, sorry, for three we're talking about. So he he plays 13, 10, 13, 9. We do the same. Um, I guess splitting just, you know, he points on us too often and leaves block. Uh, so three, two. Um, I think it's one of these weird ones where 11 and 10 isn't as powerful as, as copying him with a 9 and 10. And I think it was right to split to the 22. Uh, let's just have a look. Yeah, by quite a bit. So this is one of the exceptions. Uh, some duplications, say like 5, 4, 6, 3 hits on the outside, makes great points in, in the inside for him. Uh, so we need to get split and just, you know, bringing two, two down here just isn't giving us as stronger position as this to counterbalance so we, we get moving um we just got to remember that one and the logic three one obviously we make the point um and two one i think we slot nearly always right with that two one uh duplicates his fours so heavily uh, it's going to be right by quite a lot i think um let's just have a quick look I wonder why this is taking so long. I thought these were book responses. Sorry uh, for the delay. Yeah, it's actually really close um, between the, the, it seems like when he's rolled 4-3, it's a good idea to split with the 2, like we saw with 3-2. But just, it's easy to remember <coughs> to slot because it's nearly always right when he does something constructive to counter slot. Um, so that's all the responses to the 4-3. Let's see if there's any subtle differences. Not that many people play 3-2 down for money, uh, but we may as well just go over go over it, see if there's any differences. And if we can learn anything, you know, that's translatable. So double six, double five, uh, I think double four is going to be the same to make the, um, the 20 and the nine. Uh, pretty sure. Yeah, same as after he rolls four three. Double three, uh, I think it's going to be right to make the um, 21 and the 5, but let's just check the same. Yeah, double 2. Um, so after the 4 3, the double 2 is right to come up. You remember? Come up to the 22 and make the 2 rather than the usual 11 and 4. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to be the same after the 3 2, but let's have a look. No, well, it's pick 'em. Pick 'em. Just shows you again the power of the 4 3 opening played like that compared to that. Um, so, against this, it's right just to make the 11 and 4 as normal. So, it's very close. Double 1, we're going to make both points. 6 5 runs, 6 4 hits, 6 3 hits. Now, 6 2, I think um, I think it's right just to come to the 18 and 11, not slot the 5 or anything flash. Yeah, 18 and 11 by a lot. I mean, it looks kind of scary. You're giving him the, the world ones, threes, fours, and six, but it shows you how powerful the, the splitting down is uh, rather than, I mean, if you slot the five, it does dupe his fours, but he'd much rather hit you here than do something else. It's just terrible. And you might not cover it next time. So if you know this is out and down, it's sort of a good reference position, teaches you for other positions. So six, one, Obviously makes a seven, five four is gonna hit, five three makes a point. Um, so five two um, is usually right to split with that five two, it's no difference here. Five one, I think it's gonna be close with the slot, but probably right to split. Um, yeah, close again, really close again. Slightly right with the five one. 
and we know after the 4-3 it's right by a lot to um, to slot but after the 3-2 it's close but still right um, for three, uh, I think here we bring two down because this would leave him a good six. It's a point on us, six, two, six, four, and also four, three just puts us in a more dominant kind of priming position. And we're going to counter with something good. Uh, yeah, so it was right. So after four, three pl played like that, it's right to come down. So no difference for four, three when he splits with the three, comes down with the three, two. Uh, four two we make the point. Um, four one. Um, do we slot or split? Let's just have a look. It's right to slot. Uh, I guess his fours are so good. Uh, um, we just counter duplicate the fours by slotting the five. Uh, three two we're gonna make our usual step up to the twenty one. Um, sorry. This is. A big difference. So after four three, it was right to play twenty two and ten. But after three two, uh, it's right to bring two down just to copy him. Not exactly sure why that is. There must be some uh, duplication going on or something. But it's just worth remembering. After that four three, uh, we did a funny split to the twenty two right by a lot. But after this one, we just copy. 3-1 uh, makes the point, 2-1 uh, is going to be right to slot, um, duplicating those 4s again. So now we've learned what to do when he brings 2 down. The only other way he can bring 2 down is, well, he can with 5-4 as well, but okay, let's just have a look at 5-2 or 5-4. No one really plays 5-4 like this for money, um, but when, when you need a gammon, it can, it can be right in a match. Uh, but let's just have a look at the five twos first, see if there's any differences from when he brings two men down. So double six, double five, we know what to do. Double four, we're going to know what to do, making the nine and 20. Um, it's going to be right by a lot. Uh, the double three, now um, I don't think we want to make the five because we're not pressuring that block. So I think it's going to be right to make the 21 and 10. Um, with a double three. Ah, so I'm sorry, I got this badly wrong. So I guess I've got to just get back into the five two thought. What's going on when he rolls a five two? He's a bit, he's bringing two down. Uh, he's going to sort of make points, or if you split attack you because he's got that extra spare on the eight. So I guess just uh, making the boards powerful with double three straight away off the bat. Um, it's a good one. Uh, so just counter with the making the board. I've got to remember that. So double two, I would say it's going to be right to uh, make the eleven and four. If the double three is right to make the board, yeah. Double one, we're going to make both points. Six five, we run. Six four, we hit. Six three. Um, I think it's close, but I would run to the fifteen because it duplicates the um, the threes and ones so nicely. I mean, slotting a four also duplicates threes. But it's just right to run. We saw that with some other plays. Uh, now, six two. Usually it's right to do this, but I don't think so here because he's got a good one with that spare on the eight as well. So I think we just do this. It does duplicate some twos and fours. Let's have a look. With the six two. Yeah. No. Sorry, what am I doing? Yeah, that's the start. 6-2, I think it's right to run all the way, if I remember right. Sorry, it's close. Really wrong to run all the way here. Uh, I think, you know, after 4-3, the opening rule, it was right to... Um, sorry, after 3-2, it was right to uh, just split into that headwind of all those shots. So why would it be any different after 5-2? Good way of remembering, it, I guess. Just eighteen and eleven. Um, six one makes the bar. Five four. Um, let's have a look at the five four. So here, it's too big to split into him with the one two six. So we counter prime by bringing two down. I mean, usually it's right with a lot of rolls to do that. 
um, but not this one. We just come down with two with a five four. Five three makes the point. Um, five two, I think we're gonna come down with two. Um, so that's a bit of a difference. You know, when he rolled the other plays, the five two is right to split at the back. But when he rolls five two like this, it's right to come down with two and copy him. Uh, five one, we saw with the five four, right? That it was right to come down with two. Uh, so on the same principle, the 5-1, we're going to slot, duplicate some of his 4s. Uh, it's just a lot of upside uh, rather than splitting. I guess we'd slightly load to split and more of the plays come down because he's got that extra build on the 8. So if we split, he can attack us with some of the 6s that don't make points. Um, I, although he's priming a bit, he's also sort of in a sort of more blitzy making point structure. So we want to sort of... Uh, counterplay like slotting this 5-1 so I think the 4-3 is the same principle we're going to come down uh, with two men to try and do this counter prime stuff yep like that 4-2 obviously we're going to make the 4 point 4-1 four, we're going to do the same like aggressive slot 9-5 and five. Um, you can see once he's rolled 5-2 we, we need to counter prime and not so urgent to split when he's got that check on the eight. That's the key. Um, so that's the four one. Three one we make the point. Two one is going to be right to slot. Same principle. Thirteen eleven six five right by a lot. Um, so that's all of those. So the only other play where you can do something by bringing two down is this. Are there any differences? I doubt there's going to be many differences between five two down and five four down, but we'll just go through them. Double six double five. We know what to do. Double four is going to be hitting, um, I think, and making the um, making the nine point. Uh, yeah, it's right by quite a bit. We hit and make the nine, uh, similar to other plays. Now double three, after the five two, it was right to make the board, right? So is it going to be any different after the five four? The backgammon logic. So what do we think after the five four? If he plays it uh, like this. I think so because after the five two when we when we if we come up with the double three it doesn't pressure that a block because it's like seven away not six away but after the five four I think it's going to be right to uh, to make that point because it pressures that block as a principle and then we've got two more threes to play uh, somehow making the three point looks right to me here but let's just have a look uh, yeah it's close. Um, but this just feels right. I can't really explain why. Um, <clears throat> really makes, well, maybe not, but some of his two is quite awkward now. Um, anyway, I just sort of uh, remember that one from some logic. Double two. Uh, so after the five two, um, sorry, double two, just reminding myself. Um, it was right to make the 11 and 4, but here I think it's going to be right to make the 22 and 4 because it pressures that block. Yeah, it has an added advantage when you come here of being 6 away, really pressuring that block. Double 1, obviously, we're going to make the, the prime. 6-5 um, runs. 6-4, uh, I think we run all the way, duplicate some of his 2s. If he's hitting us on the outside, he's not doing con something constructive inside. Uh, that was right. Um, a 6 3. I think we run all the way as well. Duplicates his threes. Uh, yeah. 6 2, we hit. 6 1, we make the point. 5 4. Uh, usually it's right to um, split to that thing, but not now when he's got that extra men in the zone and builders. I think it's going to be right to just copy him. Counter prime. Oh, very close. Close between copying him and, and running, literally pick and double o one. So I bring two down on the logic that you know after five two it was right. Um, uh, um, to bring two down, so let's just remember after five four, it's right as well. Five three hits. Five two, we're not going to want to split into that. We're just going to bring two down. Uh, probably slightly better than slotting the three, slotting the four. Yeah, we just bring two down. 5-1, we're going to slot because the duplication of four is so big. Uh, like that. 
four one I would say we slot as well uh, because there's duplication of fours is good and he's about to prime us yeah three one makes the point two one we slot okay so I think that's pretty much it so now we've covered um, all the times where he in the first vlog he runs or makes a point this one when he slots with two one four one brings two down with four three three two five four um, sorry there were three slots at the beginning and just I think the general principles um, are pressuring blots duplicating some numbers knowing <clears throat> with those some five four five two there's some differences double three there's some differences subtle but most of the principles are the same if he slots uh, something we hit him where we can we make a point where we can or we sometimes run all the way when there's duplication otherwise uh, out and down same uh, when he rolls 4-1 but the emphasis is slightly more on doing something constructive because that combination against us is so big uh, kind of similar uh, when he rolls a 5-1 um, but we can sort of counter prime a bit more because he's quite stiff like this um, the 5-2 and 5-4 it's a bit similar to when he rolls a 6-4 opener we don't we're not desperate to split when it's got that extra build on e8 but we counterpoint we hit where we can we run we, we make point we bring two down to try and counterpoint where we can especially so after five four slotting everything with the ones um and with the four three and three two there's some slight nuances uh when he opens like that but often we, it's a balance between making a point obviously we hit where we can or make our points where we can but you know often it's right just to copy him but sometimes off usually it's right to bring two down after this but after this one it's kind of mixed sometimes we split sometimes we bring down anyway i hope you found this video useful uh, not just because i like the sound of my own voice but i'm probably going to watch it back two or three times just to solidify my thinking when opponent does something constructive and hopefully when i have a go at this quiz again on bgquiz.com tomorrow i'll get far fewer than 37 wrong or certainly none or very very few when he makes points um, runs or does something constructive and I'll do a couple more times the test and then I should be ready to tackle the last of the series uh, when he splits with the six uh, and does something else or uh, when he makes minus sorry or when he splits with the four and comes down or these minus splits with the ones twos and threes uh, it's going to be slightly longer and more combos, but I think breaking it down into three plot parts, very distinct different game plans when he makes points, runs, or does something constructive or splits. So this was the second of the series. I hope it was useful. Speak to you soon.